Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little bit of Ultimate Team. I haven't put Ultimate Team up uh, for quite a while on my channel actually, but Team of the Season was just released today and this just brings a whole bunch of new excitement to Ultimate Team and it certainly does for me. I'm a big Ultimate Team fan. I haven't posted, like I said, uh, enough on my channel I feel so. I'm back here to do some more and now obviously you guys can check out the Team of the Season. This is the most consistent Team of the Season so um, that's why they've released this one. They'll be releasing a whole bunch of Team of the Seasons all the different leagues a little bit staggered I'd imagine I'd say about four or five days between them I'm not entirely sure though I could be completely wrong but I know they're releasing them over time so they're not all coming out at once so this is the gold one that has just been released now what I want to ask you guys is if you guys could leave three of the players in this particular team that you guys would like to see me do a review on I am really excited by this team of the season so I want to review a few of these players but I figured why not you know uh, do reviews on what you guys want to see so if you guys would leave a comment with three players from this team that you'd like to see me do a review on that would be very much appreciated I'm gonna quickly run through just a few of the players that really excite me in this team and that really kind of uh, I really want to try out pretty much so first up we got Landon Donovan and Vela those two players have got a lot of pace on them I know that Vela is gonna be a, play, a player that I really want to try out a Liga Biba VA player so he's gonna fit into a lot of squads and really make it easy for me uh, for me to make a really cool team around him also you have Mikel Arteta there a center midfield 85 rated you know a familiar face for all you guys Javi Martinez, he is a defensive mid that I love his normal card, so it's going to be interesting how well um, his 87 card plays out. I'm certainly excited to use that. Um, another player that I'm, uh, you obviously have Jagielka there, um, all you Everton fans will certainly want to try and pick him up. Um, also on the bench, there are some really quality players on the bench. Let's start from the beginning. We have Mignolet. Mignolet is an insane keeper, so his 82 rated is just going to be insane. Uh, definitely got my eyes on him. As well as Moisander, I played with him when I had my Ajax career mode, and he was a solid, solid player. So it's going to be cool to see how his 82 rated uh, player plays out. Um, another player we have is Inan there. He looks Looks like he could be all right. Definitely not a player that I'm jumping to immediately. But two stats that really pop out to me is his 87 shooting and his 89 passing. Another player here we have Lens 90 pace, sorry, which is just insane. That is really, really uh, awesome. He's got 86 dribbling. I also might want to add he has four star skills and four star weak foot, which is beast for a right winger. Um, if we move along, we have Mangala there. Mangala has been a player I've really liked for a while now. But now that he's managed to pick up this um, sort of uh, team of the season card. He's a Porto, a French Porto player. He's 82 rated now, so it's going to be cool to see how how well he plays. Now Stasic there, a wonderful Man City centre back, um, 71 pace, which isn't that much, but I definitely think he's going to be a really good player, and I think he's going to be one of those players that ends up not going for a lot of coins, but will be so good on the pitch. So keep your eyes out for him, guys. And then on the far right, we have Ruben Castro there, um, a striker, 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shot. He looks like he could be really good. But guys, like I said. If you'd like to leave a comment down below with three players which you guys would like to see me do a review on, I will do my best to give you them. I did this previously with one of the team of the weeks. I was going to plan on doing it for every team of the week, but unfortunately, I moved down to London. It was just really bad timing. But now I'm settled down in London. I have more. I'm more than capable of bringing you guys three reviews of these players. So if you guys would be nice enough to leave a comment with three players you'd like to see me do a review on. Until then, guys, I'll catch you in a little bit. Bye bye.